what's going on, guys? It's David and Fiona, and we're out here at a, for our big adventure because uh, it's fall, which is one of the most popular times to go camping. Yes. We're at a campsite. Yes, and believe it or not, Central and Southeast Texas is one of the top fall destinations for camping, and we are standing in a campsite right now at one of these hidden gems just minutes outside of San Antonio. That's right. So I'm going to go over there. I'm going to check out five different campsites that they have, including the one that we're standing in right now, right? And Fiona, what are you going to be doing? I am going to tell you all about this hidden gem called Chula Vista Farms. Let's do it. I should have my compass. I don't have it. <laughs> well, I'm here with Judith Hurst. She is the owner here at Chula Vista Farms. Now, Judith, tell me a little bit about what makes this hip camp property so unique. The fact that it's near Old Town Holotus and the campers can either just sit and relax or they can walk into Old Town, go to Crack Mug, go to Wine 101, go to Flores Country Store. They can drink and walk home. Plus, it's completely dark at night and the stars are gorgeous and it's very quiet. So what made you decide to turn your property into something that everyone can enjoy? When I brought the property, I did not know that I had a pasture in the back. It was raining. I loved the house and I bought it. And then it was quite a shock to realize that I had a pasture back there. So at first we opened the farm and had maybe 50, 60 kinds of heirloom tomatoes. That wasn't making enough money. And I heard about Hip Camp, and I love dealing with people. So we opened Hip Camp in February of 2018. So far, we've had about 150 campers come through. So for those that may not know, what exactly is Hip Camp? It's um, similar to the B&B, &B, except it's less invasive. And you don't have to have people in your house, but they can enjoy your property. So it's like an Airbnb for folks who want to camp and enjoy the outdoors. Exactly. And what's good about it is they feel safe. Idea is the conservation, preservation of land. All right, Judith, thank you so much. Now you've got a few campsites here. I want to say five to eight, kind of depending on where you know where they are back there. And David is checking them out right now. Take it in, right? It's the sweet smell of soil. of soil. And that's what you're going to find out here at Chula Vista Farms with me right now to talk all about the farm and we're going to check out some camping sites. And we're actually in here right now because this is a, a, a small part of what you do is growing different fruits and vegetables. And right now we're looking at tomatoes, right? Yes, we do heirloom tomatoes for the chef market. Very cool. So well, we also have our hip camp sites, but we also sell tomatoes to the chefs. But we're going to go explore the different campsites right now. And Kelly, you're going to take us there. Sounds good. Let's, Let's go. Do it. All I'll right. follow you. Perfect. All right, Kelly. So over here, we are walking. We're walking to the campsite. To the campsite, yeah. Yep, we've got five campsites here. And we also have a restroom for the campers to use. It's got a full shower. It's cool. So you guys see it. it's nice and tiled. It's outdoors, yep. but you have a full, all the amenities you would all have. All the amenities, exactly. Yeah. And we have Wi-Fi throughout the property as well. So Ooh. you can watch a movie in your tent and send your emails. And, you know, even if, you, even if you're out of the office, you can still stay connected. If, if you camping. want to, Does I don't know. But we offer it as an amenity if That's you have to. That's the glamping, to. right? Exactly. That's the glamping. We, can, we can find a plug for you to plug your phone in, too. Very cool. <laughs> we come up and we start to see some of the campsites up here. Look at you. I found, look at there's Steps. I'm yep, gonna use the steps. steps there. <laughs> you can use the stairs there. So here are our campsites. We have one here in front of the barn. Uh huh. Cool. We have some campers over here, kind of kicking back and enjoying the common area. We've had people pitch tents here. Okay. This is a common area over here. We've had fire pits. There's also a common grilling area here. Oh yeah. Look at that. Yeah, and they're welcome to use the amenities out here. And we actually have one of the campsites. I kind of like it. It's it's called the amphitheater one. All right, Kelly. So now we're chilling over here by one of the campsites. Now talk to me. What is it going to cost a family to come out here and have a good time? We have campsites available for $30 a night, and that includes four campers per site um, with the Wi-Fi and the use of the bathroom and the whole property. So I think that's a great value. All right, well, that was all incredibly cool. You got to check out some cool campsites, right? I did. I, this is the first time I've been camping in a while, so mm -hmm. that's pretty cool. You got to <laughs> feel it out, you know? <laughs> hey, for more information on Chula Vista Farms and how you can camp here, just head to our website, salive.com, and click on the As Seen on SA Live tab. Yeah, and you know, it's not over yet, though. So we actually have the people from Good Sports Outdoor Outfitters are here, and they're going to be showing us all the things that you need to go camping. You know, that's good, because I, this is all you brought. This is it. I just need yeah. an axe, and I'm Paul Bunyan. Yeah, you need and maybe more of a beard. You need, we need more. Let's go. Let's go check it out. Oh, now this, this is camping. This is nice. What, are you, what kind of chair is that? 
I don't know. I feel like I can <laughs> see the stars in this chair. <laughs> but you know what? We were talking earlier. We I didn't come prepared with all the things I need, but we have the right person here to talk all about it. Joe Hoppy here. You are the outdoor specialist yes, I am. with Good Sports Outdoor Outfitters, and you have a whole table of knickknacks and goodies. And we're going to get to that chair in a second, Fiona, because that looks pretty fun, right? But we want to talk about the clothing. And even though it's hot outside, it's fall time, so you're going to have to get prepared when you're camping to, to beat the elements. So what's yes. some of the clothing items that you brought here today? Um, Good Sports is a toy store for the outdoors, and clothing is definitely a good place to start. Most of the clothes that we carry are going to be moisture wicking, quick dry, durable. So when you're outside camping and it's hot outside, um, you can get through everything comfortably and for many days at a time as well. Nice. Um, the compression sacks are perfect for traveling, not just camping, uh, but you can stuff everything in there uh, so your pack stays lightweight and doesn't take up a lot of space. Very cool. Look at that. You got a towel in this one yes. and you have some other clothes in here as well. Yes. These are, they're just so tiny, right? This is, <laughs> this is what you want. Nice. Yeah, this is what you want. <laughs> Now, what about food? You have a lot of food items, right? Yeah, so Patagonia Provisions came out with a line of food. They have soup, so you can boil water and just add this packet and you get soup. The salmon is incredible. Um, I eat the salmon for dinner at my house. You can take it camping with triscuits and avocado with your knife and have a nice little picnic outside, but the provisions are amazing. I love that. And of course, you have your little portable burner, right? You have your stove and you have your nesting cookware so Check that you can out. use your stove outside. First of all, <laughs> look, look at how easy that all packs yes. up. And David here is going to demonstrate how they... Like magic, right? Look at that. They are the first Russian time trying that too. There you go. Holes. But that's yeah. what it is. It's 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 very in, like intuitive. Like you're gonna look at it and you're gonna understand how it works. And that's really what you want. You don't want to have to have something that's so complicated when you're after camping. This right? makes everything nice and easy. So when you're outside camping, it keeps it simple. And you have a few other tools. Yes. What is Fiona holding here? This is the top of the line water filter that you can get in the world today. It's called the Guardian, and you can take it to the river walk, um, use it in the San Antonio River, and drink the water out of there instantly. Seriously? <laughs> Absolutely. Hold up, hold up. You could drink from the San Antonio River with this thing. Yeah, I suggest you guys do it. That's pretty cool. I have a try. <laughs> <laughs> it looks like I'll be the one trying. He likes it. He likes it. Now, you have all this cool stuff, of course, the proper uh, shoes to go, but to relax. Yeah. You have the chair that's right behind Fiona, but she's also holding this one right here. Talk to us about what this is. So these are hammocks. They're really excellent choices for taking camping and backpacking because they're small, lightweight. You can connect them to trees, um, and they compress. You can even use the bag for compression. And they are a great way to enjoy the stars at night, read a book, write poetry, anything you want to do outside. Ooh, I like that. A poetry connection. Speaking of enjoying the stars, that chair. Yes. The swings that I was in. What is that called? It is the Nemo Equipment Stargazer, and it is a, an awesome swing. I keep one in my living room, and <laughs> I hope you have a seat and enjoy it. <laughs> right? Now, all this great stuff, of course, available in, in stores, but online too, right? Yes. Good Sports has a website. It's goodsports.com, and we ship worldwide. Very cool. So you got to get your camping gear right before you get out there. Make sure you stay safe by having all the right stuff, right? But you also got to relax, and that's what we're going to be doing with these chairs over here. So I'm actually, I'm going to go check these little chairs out. You want to come sit that. down? I know. That I'm going to go sit up down. nice, too. Yes, it does. So, Fiona, you can sit back here. I'm going back you to your chair. Yes. chair. So these little chairs that we're sitting in right now, um, I'm a big guy, and I actually fit in here, and they actually fold into this little tiny chair right here. And, Fiona, of course, you have your stargazer. I sure do. This is this one's fantastic. <laughs> Recline. I know why you have this in your... Wait, hold on. Recline. Wait. What? No way. <laughs> what? <laughs> Stop it. I'm going to need this it. for I my know. living Fiona's going to go to sleep. But of <laughs> course, to get, to get more information on all this awesome camping gear and, of course, the campsite that we're at right now, head over to our website, salive.com. Click on the As Seen on SA Live tab. I need to cool down, so I, do, I think I need to switch into some of the, that dry fit clothing <laughs> you were talking about. But thank you so much for bringing all this, Joe. We really appreciate it. Yeah, thank you for having us. It's so hard to care. <laughs> Thank you to Ann Sarah Witten Chevrolet for this month's big adventure. For more information, just go to ansirachev.com.